morning everyone. This morning we're heading to um, the Magico, yes. Alu Beach. There's a campsite there. It was um, $10. Take two. <laughs> Um, so we left Elliot Creek campsite this morning, head into um, Elliot, um, Creek Back Falls for a quick cool off, freshen up before we got back in the car. And now we're just heading up on the Bamiga Road to the tip. Yeah. Oh, we're to cross the ferry today. We're gonna, yeah, cross the Jardine Ferry up to Magic Car and reset, uh, set the camper trailer up for anything else? Uh, well, we're going to see if we can stay at Arlu Beach um, for five nights or till Sunday and then probably start heading back down on Sunday. So we've got one more week after this um, to head home. Start heading home. Yeah, but we're just going to spend sort of five days seeing as much as we can see and obviously go up to Virginia. Do some fishing while we're there. Go have a look at around the little towns. Yeah, so we'll, probably, we'll go to Punsan for like dinner one night and yeah, just sort of cruise around, relax, fish, and enjoy. Just check it out. Should be some really good sunrises or sunsets yeah. there. So. Get the drone up, have a look. Yeah, for the next few days, we are just heading up to the MPA and checking it out. Super exciting! So exciting. Another place we haven't been before. Yeah. So, recap on Teletrack. What did you think? So, Teletrack was, um, yeah, it's exciting. It's good fun for driving. There was nothing really, you know, I mean, except for Palm Creek, there was nothing really too difficult. Um, apart from probably the next section was Gunshot Creek was probably the most the harder part because um, we got bogged just in mud uh, there was nothing that we couldn't get out of with a winch but um yeah Cockatoo Creek fairly deep but it's like rock rock underneath you so it's not it's not going to sink in sand or mud or anything so it's an easy easy crossing you just got to really map out where you're going to cross the creek because there's big holes and boulders in there yeah, yeah you usually got to hug the bank up the top and uh, cut across not straight across there's a big hole there but, but yeah you just walk it first take it all steady and yeah my advice is just yeah you don't need a you know comp truck to get in through there but you know you know, two inch lift and you know, decent tyres and a winch to get you out. Um, I actually think the big vehicles going through there are, are wrecking it and making yeah. it less accessible for other people. Yeah, there's some big ruts and stuff, but um, you know, just take your time and go through it. What was your favourite part? Cockatoo Creek. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was a nice crossing. That was my favourite part because I got to drive it. Yeah, Crystal drove <laughs> through it. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. It's just nice scenery. It's all... The rest of the track's pretty narrow. It gets a bit scratchy on your car, but... Not much you can do when you want to do the telegraph track. <laughs>
settled into our campsite and just couldn't believe how beautiful this place was. We were really looking forward to five nights relaxing, exploring the MPA, and on our first day there, we saw a crocodile out in the water. We couldn't believe it. As you do in a caravan park, we got talking to our neighbours who were another amazing family travelling around Australia and they invited us along the next morning to head up to Pajinka and enjoy a sunrise over the tip of Queensland. Been a few years. Yep. Woke up this morning. Up Come up for the sunrise at the tip of Queensland. swimming holes there's just no one around yeah. uh, perfect time to come up if you're coming up this way anyway it's probably a bit windy but look <laughs> back from the tip back to the car park it's a beautiful walk beautiful walk. crocodile country yeah quiet enough in there <laughs> Woo, well, that was a big, a big one. one. Oh, splash. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh. splash. It's <laughs> a lot easier than that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Walk along the beach is a lot easier than um, over the top of the the hill yeah. but uh, it was high tide this morning so um, and dark yeah and dark so we couldn't get across but um, definitely if it's low enough yeah and in struggle struggle on a bit of because it's know, uneven yeah, it's, it's a really uneven, uneven ground, ground. is if it's really uneven so there's another path on the beach here so yeah so everyone can access the cape 
Everyone can access the cafe. <laughs> to an extent. Yeah, it looks fine, eh? <laughs> in you go. <laughs> yeah, try it out. Alrighty, so we just stopped in at um, Pansan Bay for a coffee um, on the way after the tip. Um, yeah, it's cool in there. It's so cool. We couldn't, it was pretty much full booked. Yeah, we couldn't um, really get in there. Yeah, but we will, next time, we will definitely yeah. go back there and stay there. It is. I think it's the most expensive place to stay. I think it's about seventy-five dollars there a night, and where we are is thirty-five dollars a night. Um, but I reckon if you're coming up, and you know it's like a once your one-off coming up, I would definitely pay stay there. Yeah, extra to stay there. You can do fishing charters, yeah. helicopter tours. Yeah. You can sort of spend as much as you want there. And it's got a really nice shady pool area and bar and restaurant, so um, you wouldn't really need to leave. If you no, you can just stay there and yeah. do. It's really it's closer to the tip. Yeah. Had glamping tents. I saw cabins, powered and unpowered sites. So yeah, I think next time we'll definitely spend a few days up there. Um, but yeah, it was good to stop in for a coffee, a real coffee. <laughs> we haven't had coffee for a few days, and now we're just gonna head back. We might pop into the bakery at Bamaga because we've heard it's quite good and then we're just going to go back to where we're staying for a swim and chill out. Maybe, maybe go to the wharf later for a bit of a Yeah. Wharf in Seisyar. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See ya. <gasps> so a little bit crop. Yeah. A little bit crop. Here we are at the crop tent. We nearly drove straight past it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause we, were, we were like, oh, we'll go to the croc town today, and totally we forgot about it after yeah. doing all that. Alrighty guys, that brings us to the end of another episode. Join us next week for our final Cape York episode where we use some local knowledge to find an incredible freshwater swimming hole. Brent tries his hand fishing in the Cape York Peninsula and we find an absolutely incredible free camp on the way back home to Bowen. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on Intrepid Lifestyle Project.